this is Chase. I was born in Long Beach, California. I lived there about six years of my life, and then I moved to Tennessee. Music kind of started for me at a later age. I kind of started picking it up in uh, middle school, and that led to me joining like a band, and we started playing gigs every now and then. And I eventually ended up on The X Factor, and now I have a fan base. My fans, they're called The Chasers. And then over here is a lot of my fan mail. I like to have most of my fan mail in my bedroom because that's just where I, where I am. I sleep here, and I just think it's cool to have it in here. I have gifts from the fans have given me. This is from Brazil. The majority of my audience is girls. It's really cool and different at the same time because I've never really had a girlfriend. I kind of have to write off of stuff that I see and not stuff that happened like directly to me. The reason that I write a lot of love songs is because it's just a great way to connect with my audience right now. This fan is like coming up to me and telling me how much I mean to her, so maybe I can turn this into a song. I would characterize my music as kind of like a mixture between singer-songwriter and pop with like a sprinkle of rap. <laughs> they tell me I should kill them off with kindness, but I look them in the eye, tell them that kindness ain't no killer. And they try to get on top of me and everything that I do, it's all about intention. I'm a brand new invention. So I'm really excited to be working with Renee because I feel like she could Chase. give some really good advice. Awesome. I feel like she could take my singing to the next level. Chase, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You've met the fabulous Chase. Yes, he's fabulous. I take it. <laughs> but where are Ruth's Emily? She and Lydia are out of town. They weren't able to make it today. So we got the call to bend your body and leave a lie. It make me feel so good. They didn't call me. Well, that's not going to get it. I was a little disappointed that Lydia and Emily weren't here today. You know, Renee's really being nice, giving us all this time, and you know, I know things happen, and you know, you just got to roll with it. So, you've met Chase, but have you heard him sing yet? No, I haven't. I can't wait to hear him sing. Chase, how do you feel about doing a little music for us? I'd be glad to. I wanna sit seaside with your hands in mine. I wanna count the stars when the tide is high. I wanna watch your face fall into mine. A lot of my friends obsess over the Mag Convoys and they all know who Chase is. And they're like, oh my gosh, you got to meet him? What the heck? I'm so jealous. And I'm like, Great! <laughs> for the ring on my ring finger. I wanna live in California. Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> it takes a lot to impress me outside my own genre. And he, he really did. Uh, he's got a high voice though. I mean, little girly. Think about the payoff. Think about there being a payoff at the end of it. So make four your destination and everything else smaller than that. California. Yeah. Okay. Because it's not California. <laughs> right. And that was kind of the way you were singing it. I want to live in California. He's getting the hang of it. I think he could hang a little better. Renee is helping me mainly with my diction and how I say California on my song California. And I haven't taken a lot of vocal lessons, so I don't really know what's right and what's wrong. But um, I just have to trust her and trust her on what she's telling me to do and do that to the best of my ability. Right now, we're at Good Times Tour, AKA Party with the Viners, and it's really awesome. It's just a lot of Viners that are, they're all here today and they're just here to meet fans and just give good performances and stuff. Other people singing are Panders. Panders, get over here. Panders is gonna sing, the singing panda. <laughs> Um, Jacob Whitesides is singing. Who else is singing? Do you know? Pandas don't talk. I've just been working really hard, just perfecting my songs to the best that they can be so they'll be ready for the show, and I'm super excited. I can't wait. I had a good amount of fans show up, and I'm just, I'm just really excited to give them what I came to give them, you know? I'm going to get backstage. I love you. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Never in my life would I have ever imagined having, like, this many people interested in my music and what I do. Really quick, yeah. Thank you. Oh, crap, Larry. I love you, too. I love you, too. Sometimes at my concerts, some of my fans will get, like, really excited when they see me or when they meet me or something, 
And honestly, sometimes I don't really know how to react to that because I've never really been in that situation until now. <clears throat> yeah, kiss me on the cheek. You're too scared. You're scared. Dude, you're scared. You're so scared. Oh, man. <laughs> It's really humbling and it's, it's a huge blessing and I'm so thankful for it every single day.